Why hello there! So for those of you who follow me on social media and have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm usually a pretty happy, upbeat, you know, easygoing kind of person. But I am human and there are things that make me go crazy. So I thought it would be kind of fun to share with you things that I hate. <laughs> I was very inspired by It's Black Friday to do this video. I loved her Things That I Hate video. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first thing that I hate, and I cannot stand this no matter who is doing it, it's the sound of people chewing. Or when people chew with their mouths open. Because I just, I can't stand the sound of it. It makes me boil inside. And it's weird because crunching noises is fine. That doesn't bother me at all. But it's the kind of chewing where it's like, like that. Can't stand it. Hate it. Hate it when my parents do it, hate it when my boyfriend does it. Uh, make it stop! <laughs> now for the most part, I hate most country music. It just, it all sounds the same. And there are some country artists that I like, although it is debatable whether or not she's country anymore. I really do like Taylor Swift. I love old Taylor, I like new Taylor, but I just, I can't stand country music. And my best friend, love you Becca, she lived in Texas for a while, so she loves country music. And whenever she puts it on in the car, I'm just like, must not say anything. <laughs> I hate listening to it and I avoid it as much as possible. I hate when people do not get to their point and they just ramble on and on without any useful information. Like for example, there are people at work who come to talk to me at my desk and they could have just called me. And this happens when they call me on the phone too. It's like, okay, I'm stopping what I'm doing in my day to listen to what you have to say. Please get to the point. I have other things that I'm doing, especially at work. And they just ramble on and on and on. And it drives me nuts. It's like, just get to the point. Why did you call me? You don't need to tell me about all your medical history and everything that's going on in your life. I hate when people eat my food without asking. If you like reach over and take people's french fries, their food, just like dig your fork into it and eat it without asking them, that's extremely rude. Don't do that. <laughs> Oh, this is a big one. I hate, 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 hate when people take pictures of me or videos of me in public without asking. Hate it. Most of the time it happens in New York City where I get it, there are a lot of photographers trying to take really cool, artsy pictures of the city, but I see you. Ask me first. <laughs> and a lot of the time it's because they're tourists and they want to make fun of you like, oh, look at that person. She's wearing black lipstick and spiky boots. Let me take a picture of her and laugh at her with all of my friends. So that's something that really frosts my pumpkin. Don't like it. I hate when Facebook pages, Instagram accounts, anyone on Instagram or social media takes my photos and then either crops out my watermark or erases my watermark and puts theirs on top. That really pisses me off. I hate people who gossip and who are just nosy in general. Like at work, there are people who I'll have a conversation with my boss or someone near me and I'll see them actually crane their head around to listen to what I'm saying and eavesdrop on the conversation. It's so annoying. Another thing I hate is, unfortunately, my filming situation right now is because I live with my parents, love them both very much, but it's frustrating because whenever I want to film, I have to ask them, please, can you stay on the other side of the house because I can hear everything that they say every time they move, every footstep, and it's just really frustrating and especially when my dad wants to come down and use my studio as well. Like I can't film when he's down there. I get so distracted and I feel so self-conscious about what I'm saying. He throws off my groove, man. He threw off my groove! I'm sorry, but you've thrown off the Emperor's groove. Sorry! I hate when people touch me and especially if they're people that I don't know. And I hate when, after I ask them to stop touching me, they continue. But a woman at work, uh, she just did not get the message. She kept touching my back, she kept rubbing my back, which was completely inappropriate. We're at the workplace, this is not like a friendly gathering, first of all. And I just, that makes me feel so uncomfortable. I hate being touched. There are very few specific people in this world that I hate, but Actually, I can only think of one, to be honest. Maybe two, but the reason I hate this person is because they were flirting and messing around with my ex in the past. But it's just people who mess around with other people's boyfriends, girlfriends, relationships. I hate that. Like, what are you thinking? I don't know if I hate this so much, but I really don't like when people, mostly on Instagram, they message me just to say, hey, will you follow me back? No. <laughs> like, I get it. 
you want to build your audience, you want to get more followers, but that is not the way to go about it. I just think that it's so silly to do the whole follow for follow thing because if someone's going to follow me, I'd want them to follow me because they like my work and they like what I'm doing and they want to see more of my content, not because I just asked them to. I hate when people ask me to do work or promotions for free. Now a lot of the times this happens to graphic designers or anyone in the artistic community where they're like, oh, I like what you did, can you do that for me? But I don't want to pay you for it. If I said that to a plumber or a mechanic, they would laugh in my face. I'm not going to work for free. I'm not going to work for free either. <laughs> Okay, this one I really don't understand. I hate whenever I say that I like a band or a celebrity or a movie, etc., a book in a conversation, either in person or online, and then someone immediately has to start saying, oh, I hate this person, I hate this thing, it's terrible, it's so disgusting, why would you like that, etc. I'm sorry? <laughs> like, for example, I was doing a live stream on Instagram one day, and I was talking about how much I love Lady Gaga, and I was playing Lady Gaga music and singing to it, and it was great, a lot of people were enjoying it, and then there was this one person who decided that they needed to make it known to everyone, and me, I hate Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga's music is stupid then why are you watching? <laughs> another thing was another live stream, and I was talking about how I loved the books Twilight uh, by Stephanie Meyer with Edward Cullen and the sparkly vampires and all that. I read that in high school, I loved it, it was my favorite. So I was talking about that in my live stream, and someone commented, Yeah, I used to like Twilight too, but then I grew up and I got a life. Wow. <laughs> Okay, if you want to think that in your head, that's perfectly fine, but why do you feel the need to type that out and send it to someone who obviously loves the thing that they're talking about? Like, what is the reasoning behind that? I don't understand. I hate when people ask me to do something that they could easily do themselves just because they're lazy. Example, someone will text me from a smartphone asking me what the weather is like, what time it is, it's like, are you serious right now? How lazy are you that you are on a smartphone? You could easily Google this in the time that it took you to text me asking me to do it. No, do it yourself. I'm not your mom. <laughs> I hate anyone who harms little animals like puppies or kittens. They're monsters. Like these videos of people kicking kittens or squishing puppies. It's like, what is wrong with you? I just, I don't understand. They're, they're harmless little babies. How could you do that to something like that? And this kind of goes along with the not liking to be touched thing, but I hate when people don't respect my space at church, at the supermarket. Just people like to get really close. And I have, I've had people like come and stand this close to me online. I'm like, excuse me, doing that is not going to make the line go any faster. Can you please back up? <laughs> Hear that noise in the background? That's also something I hate because whenever I try to film, because I'm in my basement, my studio is in my house's basement, uh, I have that in the background intermittently because the furnace just decides, oh, Heather's filming? Let me turn myself on and drown out everything in the background. So that is something that I hate. <laughs> I hate when the water takes too long to get warm in the shower because I'm standing there shivering naked and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm gonna go deep for a second. I hate that I have so much confidence in my outer appearance and so little in my personality and everything that's on the inside. Because I always overthink things and I question all my actions and I question whether or not, you know, my boyfriend really wants to be with me because of who I am and not because of how I look and just silly, shallow things like that. And I hate that about myself and that's been something that I've been working on and it's getting better. But yeah, I just... I have so much confidence in what's on the outside, which is something that I can't really control in terms of like my genetics and my face and everything, and so little on the inside, but it shouldn't be that way, so I'm working on it. I hate when people are really rough with animals when they pet them, especially if it's my pet. I'm like, excuse me, you do not need to rub their head that hard. Like, calm down. <laughs> you do not need to shake the poor thing around. Just give it nice, gentle pets. I hate when alternative people People with tattoos, body modifications, have to prove that they're a good person. And I've gotten this myself, even though I have zero tattoos, I have very few body mods. Like when I walk into a store, for example, I've had some employees follow me because they'll think that I'm gonna try to steal something. I just, I hate that. It's such a stigma against people who look different than everyone else, especially when people have like a dark appearance. 
dark hair, dark clothing, dark lipstick, lots of tattoos, stuff that people have really heavy negative connotations towards for some reason, like thinking that people worship Satan, worship the devil. I don't know why or how that got started, but even with me too, I feel like I have to be always smiling, always nice, always happy. Otherwise, people are gonna be like, oh yeah, of course, she's goth, of course she's nasty, of course she's a bitch, of course she's mean. And that's so unfair. Like, I have my off days. I'm not gonna be happy and bubbly 100% of the time. I try to be, but that's just not realistic. I'm gonna have days where I'm depressed and I'm not gonna wanna have a conversation with the cashier at the checkout and she's gonna think, oh, just one of those goth people, they're all terrible and mean and antisocial and bleh. <laughs> I hate that I feel like I can't go anywhere by myself at night and feel safe. And it's not even that I live in an unsafe area. My parents have always drilled it into me that you can't go places by yourself because you might get raped, you might get molested, you might get taken advantage of, you might get kidnapped. So all that's kind of floating around in my head like, oh my gosh, I can't go anywhere. And judging by the few times that I've gone somewhere by myself late at night and what's happened, I think that's legitimately true. That's a legitimate concern because I went to Walmart late at night shopping for something as I was on my way home from my boyfriend's house and this tall, kind of well-dressed, like middle-aged to older man was following me in the parking lot and he was calling after me, hey, hi, hey, hello, and I just kind of ignored him and went straight to my car, got in, locked the doors, but I saw him continue to watch me as he walked to his car and then he got in the car, watched me from his car for a while, really creepy situation, and then he got in his car and drove past me really super slow, staring at me the whole time like, then he continued to drive past me. I was still sitting in my car like watching him because I didn't want to go home and have him follow me home. He drove around and went behind my car doing the same thing, staring at me, going really slow, and it freaked me out because that's, like, that's never happened to me before, especially, obviously, not when I'm with other people. It's just scary to think that there are people out there who do not have the best intentions and might just cause someone harm because they're by themselves. So I hate that. I wish that wasn't the case. I hate when people tailgate me when I'm driving because it's like, are you? do you really think that you're going to get anywhere faster by doing this? You're just being so annoying and you're making me want to go even slower. So if you're someone who tailgates people, please don't. It's just really unsafe, especially if someone in front of you has to stop suddenly. You're gonna crash right into the back of their car and then you're gonna have to pay for the damages. I hate this so much. I hate when people facetune their photos on Instagram and then they list all of the concealers, the foundations, the powders, the setting sprays that they use to get their flawless finish. And I see that so, so often and it's so frustrating. Why are you listing all of the foundation products and saying that that's how you got such a smooth face? You're lying. I hate when I go to tell someone that I was being harassed by guys in public or a group of guys or they were cat calling me or whatever it was. And the first thing that they say is, well, what were you wearing? Are you serious? I'm not asking for them to cat call me because of what I'm wearing, no. And one of my really close friends did this to me. And I was like, are you freaking serious? What the heck? It's like they were basically saying that, well, you were asking for it, so. Like, excuse me, f you. And thank you for that being the first thing to come out of your mouth instead of, are you okay? Did anything happen? That pisses me off to no end. It really does. But I remember there was one time when someone said that to me and I sent them a photo of what I was wearing I was completely covered, head to toe. Not that that should matter, but then they had nothing to say after that. Like, yeah, what I'm wearing did not matter. So thank you for your concern. I hate when people that I don't know in real life and in social media, but it happens mostly to me on social media, call me baby, sweetie, honey. Ugh, I just, it's so creepy to me, especially if it's a man. It's like, no, don't call me that. Why do you think that that's okay? I don't know who you are. And that's a term of endearment. Save that for someone that you actually know and care about in real life. And it just feels so condescending if it's coming from another woman, if that makes sense. Like, okay, honey, yeah, whatever you say, sweetie. I hate when you're in a public bathroom and it's completely empty and someone comes in and they sit in the stall right next to you when they could sit literally anywhere else. It's like, why do you have to come sit right next to me? There are 
10 other stalls that are completely open. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna finish this up with the last thing that I hate for now, and that is PDA. Some PDA is fine. I have no problem with happy couples expressing their love for each other. I'm talking about sucking face specifically. <laughs> I was in the subway one time, it was probably like 1 or 2 a.m., and this couple, they were making out, and the sound of it just made me want to vomit. I couldn't handle it. I wanted to yell at them, can you please stop? <laughs> please. I hate the sound of it. It's like slurping, smacking. Ugh. Please, save that for the privacy of your own home. You do not need to be suctioning each other's faces off in public. <laughs> no one wants to see that. No one wants to hear that. Especially not me. And that is it for things that I hate. This is probably an insanely long video because there are a lot of things that I hate, surprisingly. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It felt good for me to get all this stuff off my chest. Feel free to leave things that you hate down in the comments below. I'd love to read and see what they are. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye. This is why I don't film more YouTube videos because between my parents and the lovely furnace, I can't film <laughs> and it drives me nuts. I'm going to kill you. Ah! Sisters! Oh, book! Book! Make thyself known! <laughs>